Welcome back to I'm Still Here. I'm Larry. And I'm Heather. In 1998, I was diagnosed with stage 4 breast cancer at the age of 26. It changed everything for us, but I'm still here. You are. Yeah. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. So, you know, we've been at this kind of all summer long, uh, doing a couple of podcasts every week. And as we kind of look at transitioning into the fall, we thought maybe we'd just change things up a little bit and do a short kind of Monday momentum type of uh, podcast mm-hmm. just to kind of help you get your week started, get your head thinking about, you know, what you can do to, you know, kind of live your best life maybe throughout the week or or, or deal with challenges, right? There's a lot of things that mm-hmm. happen. But going into it is I'm going to kick its ass. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a mindset. Yeah. And if you start it out right. The odds of finishing it right increase dramatically. Yeah, and uh, so so these so I think Mondays from now on will just be a, a shorter um, podcast to to kind of help you step off in the right foot and and get going. So it might not be shorter. <laughs> we never know. Yeah. That's, you know, we are very much a we'll figure it out kind of couple. So you know, yeah. we know what you're gonna get right. Um, So I thought I would introduce a concept that I had read about, and I've actually had it on my whiteboard lately, and things like that. It's actually from Brendan Bouchard, which he's a motivational, personal development guy. He's got so much energy, and really, we we both got the chance to hear him speak one time. He's super cool. But he talks about taking your meds every day. And I think, especially as people who are dealing with cancer, of course, I you know, and it's, it, relatable. it's very relatable, right? <laughs> yeah. So I do take my meds every day and, and things. But when he's talking about meds, he's talking about M being meditate. And I think meditate can look a lot of different ways. E being exercise, D being diet, and S being sleep. And just kind of thinking about how much, how these four things can really impact how you feel. And most people would say, oh, gosh, yeah, those things are all important. But how many of us have a true plan? Right. Like, wh- wh- what's my goal for this week when it comes to meds? What What's my goal? What am I going to do? And, or what do I want to achieve? And then how do I go and achieve that? Mm-hmm. And I think that's what that's about is. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, uh, again, for all of that, it's kind of, it's setting a lot of times really small achievable things to have some success and build on it right yeah or finding write it down write it down and maybe some things you know meditation's not easy for me um i find actually that some walking meditation works a little better for me um or even just like being really just like you know what three minutes i can i can do it for three minutes i can just kind of you know be quiet for three minutes and try to you know, focus a little bit. So I think... And it really, I think, meditation really depends on your environment. For sure. Yeah. I oh, mean, yeah. and, and a lot of environments are crazy. Yeah. With, with kids running around or, yeah. you know, you're, you're going from sun up to sundown yeah. beyond that. And you just have so many responsibilities. It's hard to just say, oh, I'm going to cut away these five minutes or 20 minutes for meditation when your environment didn't change. That's hard. It is hard. I, it's kind of interesting, too, because, like, we don't have kids living home anymore. Mm-mm. And even I feel like I feel like when I'm trying sometimes to meditate, it's like the cats who live downstairs come up. Like, every, you know what I mean? It's like you're just this magnet for noise yeah. or this, you know, the FedEx man comes or what. No, that's why I, I think outside is the best meditation, you know, for me. Yeah. Going off on my snowmobile to nowhere and yeah. just stopping, turning it off. And, and just, just listening and yeah. by a stream or something. I mean, that is the ultimate for me is finding a location or a mm-hmm. view yeah. that is yeah. out away from people. Yeah. And that, that is, well, no, I know that's harder though. But even just doing, I equate that to doing it in my car, right? Yeah, like, no you know what I Same. mean? Some people kind of talk about sitting in the driveway before they come in. It's totally understandable, you know, just... Um, but maybe <laughs> sitting down at the corner before you're, you know Or maybe, maybe your job is crazy stressful. Yeah. Get there five minutes early, turn your car off, yeah. shut your eyes, yeah. get yourself in the right mindset to go in and yeah. kick ass, to, to, yeah. to do the best job you can. And to maybe it's maybe it's the stressors of that job saying, no, not today. They're not going to affect me in a negative way and setting little goals like that. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah I think actually when you talk about that, that applies to exercise too. I think sure. for me, I often am like, I'm going to do this, 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 and this, like so many things. And then by day two, yeah. like I haven't accomplished that. It's like, no, I'm going to walk for 10 minutes. I'm going to, yeah. you know, like again, that's exercise and it's, mm-hmm. and it counts and we should not be beating ourselves up about not doing enough. We should be, you know, just building on, I think. But still set goals. I mean, for still, sure. still set those goals, write them down, mm-hmm. write them down today mm-hmm. for the week and see how you do. Yeah. You're not going to achieve them all. They, they aren't really, they probably weren't great goals if you didn't achieve them. I mean, if you achieved them, all of them. Yeah. Or you're just that person. <laughs> most people, of us don't. Some people switch it on and right. go crazy, right? Yeah. But. It's hard to sustain that though. Yeah. So the next one is diet. Yeah. And. <laughs> this one kicks our butt. It does. This is the hardest for us. Yeah. And and it's it, it, we are very similar in these. And um, for us, it's a lot easier to go walk a 5K, walk a 10K, jog, mm-hmm. do sprints, whatever, weight lift. That, like, is way easier than, go, than portion control or than going... Eh, sound good doesn't and we just go with it and and (laughs) when there are way healthier choices for us and oh it's a hard one yeah Yeah. again i think with that um i'm just gonna go back to like christy's advice about add more like add Mm. more fruits and vegetables add more add the good stuff and and start from that instead of the the elimination i'm gonna eliminate everything so um yeah and eat then, what you should before you eat what you want. Yeah. It's so true. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And the last one? Sleep. Sleep. Yeah, and it's, I mean, I, I don't ever set goals with sleep, but as I'm, you know, and this is, uh, we're on summer break right now, so we can literally go to sleep whenever we want, get up whenever we want, with the exception of a few days. I do have to get on the road at 5 a.m. tomorrow, so that's a little bit different. But when I'm getting, when I'm working a lot and doing that, I start getting behind on my sleep a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's when I really need to set goals. I need to go, I need to be in bed by 10 or or whatever that is. Or, you know, other things like, for me, like, I got to be careful even what I watch on TV because my brain just keeps going. Or for me, my sleep is affected by what I've gotten done. You know, if I'm not prepared for the next day in my classroom or whatever I got going or officiating and the laundry's not done, that's going to keep me up for hours. Yeah. Whereas if I have things just boom, boom, you know, I lay out my clothes. I'm an organized (laughs) for the next day kind of person. That'll affect my sleep. So when I start getting behind, that's when I need to set goals and do better. Yeah. I find that it's more, it's different things for me. I mm-hmm. know that if I exercise, I have a much better chance of sleeping better. Sure. Uh, I know that if I have caffeine after even like one or two o'clock in the afternoon, I'm going to be up. Like it's not, I just. For me, it's like five. You know, or so. Four. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, also just kind of trying to unwind or figure that stuff out, um, how to do it. I think, I think I, it takes me. I don't know. I don't know. I, sleep is something that's a challenge for me. Do you know what your perfect sleep hours are? Well, I think this is a problem. I think, like especially during the school year, I get tired pretty early. I get tired around seven or eight often. Mm-hmm. But then I, then by the time we go to bed, I'm wide awake for too long. Yeah. You know what I mean? Otherwise, um, I think if I could be even more of a night owl, I would prefer that, and then sleep in in the morning. I I don't do great getting up early but well that's for just the you, world we live in you're also really affected by allergies and other things yeah. you do not sleep well when you have any kind of infection going yeah. on and that's one of the side effects of the o and j yeah Re- really affects her in a negative way so she doesn't even know when she slept eight hours she only slept three yeah she doesn't even know that when she and i know um but yeah it, th- that's a big thing for yeah. you so, yeah, for me, I know seven hours. That's my perfect. Yeah, I, I mean, I think I'm more spot. closer to eight if I can do that, but I just don't. It depends on the night whether or not I'm going to get that. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I often, my, you know this, but I often, even when we go to bed, I fall asleep for about 20 minutes, and then I wake up for two hours. Yep. <laughs> so, ugh. And you are a napper. 
I, I so that fits into the napping. Yeah, because I'm <clears throat> very good at a power nap, which is, again, I know that, like, usually if I power nap at, you know, 3.30 or not, it can't be later than 4. But I can, that will help me get through the day. Mm. But, again, if you do it too late, then I don't know. Sleep is definitely something that people, mm-hmm. I think, you know... It's just, it really is important. And I, I do yeah. sometimes go, oh. I and the busier like you good. are, mm-hmm. the more important it is. Like right now, it's just the last thing on my mind. Yeah. Just because I'm on vacation. Yeah. And, and I get to do whatever I want to the, for the most part. And I'm about ready to go into timing hell. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be working from 6 a.m. till yeah. 10 p.m. most days. Yeah. 9 or 10 p.m. most days. Yeah. And just going and going and going, and it's I, that needs to become very important for me. Yeah, I think in some ways, um, then you you really do set a schedule, and it does kind of, yeah. you know, because you have to stick to it. So we're yeah, we're both both about to kind of see some changes <laughs> in terms of yeah. we're going to be on a schedule a little bit more than otherwise. But so hopefully, all of you guys, um, you can literally this is five minutes. Yeah, get a sheet of paper out. The, your meditate, exercise, diet, and sleep goal yeah. for this week. These are your natural meds, which yep. is so cool, right? I mean, what can we do and what how, you know, what are the things we can do? So, yeah. If you're going to set a week, yeah. try to break that down into each day and starting today. Don't don't wait till tomorrow. Start today Yeah. Um, and see what how you do. Yeah. And then Let us know what tomorrow. they are. Yeah, absolutely. Let us know what they are and we'll compare it to ours. Yeah. And uh, you can do it. Have a great week. Awesome. See ya. See ya.